I was out walking our property and uh, came across these little guys, two jawbones from probably a cow, could be something else, giant teeth there. Um, we had cows and uh, I don't think we did this, um, but I know the people before us had like eight cows and butchered them. And uh, yeah, now there's some jawbones over here. And I'm a little curious as to what these mounds are right there. But uh, yeah, I know that there's cow heads over here. I just never really looked for them in that area because that's just a small little corner. But uh, I'm going to go look for some cow heads. There's the first cow skull. Right over here. Just like got that old western vibe from it. Got a little split up there in the front. There's the first one. I think there's a few more down here. I'm gonna keep looking, but it's kind of creepy how it is, but it's a really cool cow skull. If it wasn't from an actual cow, it'd be really nice. I saw the second one. And it's like upside down and missing the jaw. So I was a little like freaked out like where the jaw went. And then it's right over here, just a few feet away, uh, with all the teeth intact. Uh, yeah, it's upside down so you can't really get a good look at it. But that is still, it's kind of cool to see it like this because it could be a cow face. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm going to see if there's any others down here. This one I would say is the scariest. Uh, it still has like the back intact. I think it's a girl cow because no horns. But look at the shape of that. That looks like, I didn't say it, that one looks like it was a young cow. Oh, it has the back intact. A bit of the vertebrae up there. Oh, I'd say that one's just scarier to look at. I don't know why that one just freaks me out the most. Whew. Uh, I found this just on my way back. Uh, looks like a teeny tiny little animal, but still big enough to be something probably like a baby, baby something, baby bird. Looks like a bird. But yeah, I just found that on the way there. A uh, little kind of creepyish thing, uh, but I'm gonna go look for some more cow skulls. I found one final one right here, which is also really eerie because it looks like it was not that old. Tiny, uh, tiny uh, horns, and but also was like disturbed the most because no jaw. There is like. A, something right up here was missing like the part of the nose and he's missing a horn and uh, I just think this one is actually the scariest because also we're in a completely different area where the other cow skulls were is like way over there uh, but yeah this one I don't think there's any others um, probably not any others but, uh, yeah, these, this was just, I always kind of want to look out here and explore, and uh, now I have.